The U.S. Army has made the US$1.3 billion United States dollars decision to select the Bell V-280 Valor tilt rotorcraft to replace the Army's 2000A-60 Black Hawk utility helicopters and 1200A-64 Apache assault helicopters. The new development contract for the Army's future long-range assault aircraft FLRAA program is part of the Joint Multi-Role Technology Demonstrator program that was initiated in 2013 to design, build, and flight test prototype candidates to replace the Army's current inventory of utility and long-range assault rotorcraft. Now that the V-280 has been selected, funding will go towards advancing the rotorcraft to production by refining its weapon system design, sustainment, digital enterprise, manufacturing, systems integration, flight testing, and airworthiness qualification. Carrying a crew of 4 and up to 14 troops, the V-280 Valor may resemble the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey, but it differs in a number of key aspects, including a lighter weight thanks to the extensive use of composites. The V-280 Valor has a cruising speed of 280 knots, 320 miles per hour, 520 kilometers per hour, a service ceiling of 6,000 feet, 1,800 meters, a combat range of up to 920 miles, 1,480 kilometers, and a ferry range of 2,400 miles, 3,900 kilometers. By using twin engines with shared drive shafts, both rotors can be run by a single engine in the event of a mechanical failure, as well as giving the rotorcraft a lift capacity of about 10,000 pounds, 4,500 kilograms, at a speed of 150 knots, 170 miles per hour. 280 kilometers per hour. This is an exciting time for the U.S. Army, Bell, and Team Valor as we modernize the Army's aviation capabilities for decades to come, said Mitch Snyder, president and CEO of Bell. Bell has a long history supporting Army aviation and we are ready to equip soldiers with the speed and range they need to compete and win using the most mature, reliable, and affordable high-performance long-range assault weapon system in the world. The only FVL weapon system with the flight-proven agility, speed, range and endurance for the future long-range assault aircraft, FLRAA. The reach, reliability and agility your mission requires. Purpose built to revolutionize the reach and effectiveness of each mission while offering unmatched maneuverability, reduced downtime and elevated mission safety. With over twice the speed and range as current weapon systems, the Bell V-280 Valor is the proven long-range maneuver solution. Mission Systems With unparalleled mission equipment, pilots will operate in challenging visual environments and provide the ground forces with situational awareness en route and on the objective. Strategic Deployment Take off in a moment's notice. The Bell V-280's exceptional range capability and strategic lift deployment options increase operational flexibility in responding to military action or humanitarian assistance missions. Built for the warfighter. Combining the speed and range of the turboprop with advanced agility greater than a traditional helicopter, the Bell V-280 Valor offers better flight performance and lifecycle sustainability. This weapon system was purpose-built to revolutionize U.S. Army overmatch in multi-domain operations. Transformational tilt rotors. Don't let the environment get in the way of your mission success. Tilt rotors provide overmatch in lower tier air domains. Take on any situation with the speed and range of a turboprop aircraft and advanced agility greater than a traditional helicopter. Agility. The Bell V 280 has proven its raw control power in pitch, roll, and yaw maneuvers, performing at the highest standards for agility. Validated by numerous flight tests, the aircraft delivers the transformational agility warfighters need for mission success. Nacelles, drive systems. Fixed engine nacelle design means reduced manufacturing costs and better performance, maintainability and sustainability, designed to reduce warfighter workload. The first Army unit is slated to be equipped with FLRAA by fiscal year 2030. The initial prototype will be delivered to the Army by 2025, according to the service. <laughs>